Coder, you've brought this up in your testimony. And what do you think are the biggest cross-national problems in need of global oversight with regard to artificial intelligence right now? Thank you. What a wonderful question, Congresswoman. I don't think every problem is a global problem. The important thing to ask ourselves is simply, what, what is the climate change of AI? What are the problems that are so big a given country or a given company can't solve it themselves? These are things like information integrity, preserving democratic values and democratic institutions, uh, CSAM, child sexual abuse material, radicalization. And we do have organizations that have been set up that are extra governmental to address these kinds of problems. Um, but there, there's more. What we need is a rubric or a way of thinking through the biggest problems and how we're going to work on them in, the, in a multi-stakeholder fashion. Right. And Dr. Uh, Murdoch, about working with our allies, working with open democratic societies to make, produce, and innovate and win the future. Thank you so much, for Mr. Murdoch. As you highlighted in your written testimony, AI is just not a field to be left to PhDs and engineers. We, we need many types of workers across the AI supply chain from PhD, computer scientists, to semiconductor engineers, to lab technicians. Can you describe the workforce requirements needed to support the entire AI ecosystem, and what role will individuals with technical expertise play? No, this is a great question, and I will try to be brief because it's such a fascinating conversation. When you look at the AI, um, the AI workforce, it's super easy to get fixated on your PhD folks, and I think that was a big mistake. One of the uh, first applications that I started seeing discussed was uh, a lawn a landscaping business using, uh, the, the proprietor had trouble writing, um, and they started using large language models to help communicate with customers to give them proposals when they couldn't do it before. That proliferation, now I don't mean that in a proliferation way, sorry, that expansion of capabilities into um, and uh, users that are much wider than your standard users is, is really the space we are living today. So in the deployment of any uh, AI capability, you have your te core tech team, you have your team that surrounds them or uh, implements software engineers and other things like that. You have your product managers. Uh, when I worked in Silicon Valley, the, the product managers were my favorite human beings because they could take a technical concept and connect it to reality in a way that uh, a lot of people couldn't. And then you have your commercial and marketing people. You have a, a variety of different technologies showing up at the intersection of energy, uh, manufacturing. And so I think this AI literacy is actually relevant because I think all of us are going to be part of this economy um, in, a, in some way or another. Uh, so uh, the size of this community is growing, and I think we just need to make sure that they're trained well and they have that expertise to be able to implement um, implementations that are respectful of uh, the, the, the values that we've been discussing. Yeah. Thank you for that answer. I, I'm a big believer that technical education and CTE should be taught at a K through 12 level uh, for every American to go ahead to, for an alternative career pathway. And I believe that the American dream has been distorted uh, within this reality for younger generations of what they think that that is. It used to be you know, a nice house, a white picket fence, uh, and to provide for your family and a future generation. Now it's a little bit different and distorted in my view. So thank you very much for that answer. Um, another question, what role will community and technical colleges play in AI workforce development in the short term, uh, you know, more recently than we think down the road? What about your recommended two-year programs are well-suited to recruit and train students in AI-related fields? 